What's up guys, it's Robson Hayashida here and today we're going to start a lesson about how to install the PV SRA templates on your MetaTrader 4. Okay, so if you already know, uh, if you're already using PV SRA, you don't really need this lesson, this is not for you. But if you're a beginner, if you're a total beginner, you're planning to start uh, PV SRA trading and you're wondering how you can install the PV SRA templates, this is the perfect lesson. So let's get started and once again let me remind you that this is only compatible with MetaTrader 4 okay it doesn't work on MetaTrader 5 so if you have MetaTrader 5 installed you have to install the MetaTrader 4 instead okay so this is once I open my MetaTrader 4 uh, this is the the full template that I got okay so it comes like this so all you have to do is, uh, first of all, we are going to, uh, let's go to Google. So open your browser and you're going to type PVSRA International, okay? So once you do that, you're going, well, Google displays a list of websites. It's the first one that says PV International, PVSRA International with TraderAtHome.com, okay? This one. So we're going to click on it. Okay, so once you get to this website, you're going to look for orientation and downloads room. Okay, this one, orientation and downloads room. So you click on it. And there is only one thread, which is orientation and downloads. So you're going to click on it. All right. So once you click on it, you have a list of messages. It's not uh, the first one, okay? Because the first one, it's uh, a little bit old, okay? So you're going to scroll down, all the way down, and you're going to download the newest template. Okay. So once you go all the way down, uh, it's not here. So it's a little bit up. So we go a little bit up, yes. So now you can see two files. One is a zip file. One, the other one uh, that you see here is a PDF file, is the manual, okay? And you really should uh, read this PDF because it's really how you understand a lot of things about PVSRA. So don't forget to read the manual first, okay? Read the manual and reread and reread and reread as many times as you can until you get the knowledge, uh, you start to understand how PVSRE really works. So you really have to read it not only once, but a few times before you understand how the market works. Okay, so what you're going to do now, we're not going to download this now, we are going to do to, because this lesson is about how to teach you how to use the template. So you're going to download this zip file, okay? So you click on it. And the download started, okay? So once you have downloaded the file, you're going to click on it. And you have the templates, okay? So you click on this folder. Here, it depends if you're using a black chart or a white chart, okay? So this depends on what kind of chart you like. In my case, I like black charts. So we are going. I, I'm going to double click on this one, okay? Okay. So here I have the scripts, the PV SRA scripts, and I have, you can see that I have one file with a TPL extension, which, which is the template, and I have a lot of files with the EX4 extension, which are the indicators, okay? So once you have this, now we are going to, you go back to your MetaTrader. So let's go back to MetaTrader. And we are going to click on File, and then we're going to click on Open Data Folder, okay? So this Open Data Folder, this is where you click. So once you click on that folder, we are going to now install the files that you just unzipped, okay? So first of all, let's install the template. So you click uh, here, you click on Templates. Once you click on Templates, uh, I can see that I have my old... Do I have my old template there? ADI Bungeman's Momentum. Oh, I don't have my old template there. Let's go a little bit. Uh, 
Maybe it's the presets. No. Scripts. Oh, no, not here. Anyways, I don't have my template there, but I think it's actually, I, I have to put it uh, on MQL4 and then you go to, uh, it's not MQL4, you have to go to templates, okay? So on templates, we're going to install the TPL file, okay? So what, once you have done that, you open the TPL file, okay? So you go back to the file that you have just uh, unzipped and you're going to right click on it and copy, okay? Now you go back to the data folder here, okay? And you're going to paste it. All right. Okay, so once you have done that, you're going to, now we are going to unzip the other files, but it's not on templates. We have to go to indicators. So we go back one level up and we click on MQL4. Then we click on indicators, okay? And you can see here that I have a whole bunch of indicators that I copied on December 12, 2016, so last year, so they're old okay so I'm going to replace with, with the new ones okay these new ones as you can see are from from uh, May the 1st okay so this year okay 2017 so we are going to copy and go back to my data folder here and we are going to paste it okay so now I have a whole bunch of new files. Hmm. Okay. Oh, because the new ones have this V1 in the end. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, I see. The ones that are from last year don't have the V1. So it's probably V0, <laughs> but it doesn't say. Okay. So the, the new ones are V1. So, okay. So now... Based on this, let's delete the ones that are old. So let me delete this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this one. Okay. All right. So now I have all the, the V1 uh, new templates. Okay. From uh, oh, okay. I just copied that. That, that that's why it says today's date. Okay. All right. So now that you have all the template, you have the template file and all the indicators, you don't need this window anymore, so let's close it, okay? And you don't need this anymore, let's close it. So once you go back here, okay, all you have to do is you right click and you load the template, okay? So you're going to right click on it and then here on template, you're going to pick you're going to pick this, load template, okay? And you're going to load. So now you can see here, right? From May the 1st, you can see this new template that we just copied. So you're going to open it, okay? Voila, okay? So now you got your template here. So now you have the PVSR template, all right? Wait a second, so uh, it's not complete yet. Why? Because I don't have here, I need my TRO, multimeter currency, that tells me if the currency is bullish or bearish according to the time frame. So all you have to do is you go here. So you go here on the list of uh, indicators. So you go here, indicators, and you're going to locate the T. RO indicator, which is all the way, in my case, is all the way in the end of the list because it starts with a T. So I go, I do this TRO and I move it here. Okay. There we go. So we have the indicator here. It's a little bit like this because of my screen size, but well, it doesn't matter in this case, as long as I understand. Next, I don't have my currency strength 
my CSN indicator. So let's look for it. Hmm, where is it? Oh, here. So currency strength alerts, okay? And wow, it's all the way there. <laughs> okay, so let's Mm, uh, let, let's put it down a little bit. So where is it? Um, indicator. I go to indicators. Then I go to this currency string alerts. Double click on it. And uh, okay, I think it's the it's probably the position. So vertical position twenty five. Let's put like. Let's put like uh, 150. Let's see. Oh, too much. So let's put like 100. How about 100? Oh, let's put. Okay, let's put like 50 then. Still not there. What happened? 25. Okay, 40. Uh, let's go back to 25. I don't understand. 25. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what happened. Ah, okay, okay. It's like I have to. Okay, I understand what happens. I have to click on the like finalize it once. Oh, yeah. Okay. So go back there. So let's put 150. Okay. Then click on OK, and then click on close. Then I think. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's do a little bit more. Okay. So go back to indicators list. Currency strength alerts, and let's put a uh, hundred seventy, maybe. Okay, so here uh, it's more like once I put a hundred seventy, I can see all the, the 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 currencies, well, the major ones here. So it's okay. All right, so. If you don't have, oh, by the way, if you don't have these two indicators, it's because you haven't downloaded them. So you have to download them and, and do the same thing I did with the PVSRE indicators. So you can download these on the um, uh, forexfactory.com. I'll leave the link uh, somewhere here on my video. So you go there and go to scalp, uh, PVSRE scalping with cigar guy, and you should be able to download the files from there, okay? Okay, so the last one that you have to download is uh, and install is the uh, where is it? We're going to do an expert advice. Oh yes, the order on chart. Okay, so this you just have to grab and click here, allow live trading, and okay, okay. So then you have the. Uh, EA, the expert advisor here, all right? What else? Let's change to M1. And uh, another thing is very good to do is to have the candles to uh, indicator, okay? So the candles to indicator, you have to download together with the drawing, okay? So there is this called drawing indicator. So they work together. So you have to download both of them. What this candles to does is basically it will display the hourly the h1 candles on the top like on, on the top of the m1 time frame okay so here you are on m1 and you want to see the h1 candles with, without having to to change to h1 so you don't have to change so while you are still here on m1 you can see the hourly candles on your chart so I'm going to drag here and drop it. Okay, so the time frame that I want to see is H1. So instead of D1, 
ITH1, okay? And instead of, uh, I don't like this color, is for bullish uh, colors, okay, bullish candles, I want to have something like green, okay? So I'll change to something like this, okay? And for uh, bearish candles, so for bear color, so bearish candles, I want to have something uh, like dark red, okay? Something like this, okay? And, and again, if you're, you're not satisfied, you can just change this to any color you want, okay? And then you click on OK. All right? So here you have, maybe it's a little bit too, it's too, like, light. I want a little bit darker. So let's go back there again. Go to indicators. Go to candles too. Instead of this, let's change this color. I don't want this color. Let's click on custom. Okay. Let's make this much darker. Okay. How about, oh, how about this? I think this is better. And then we click here and click on OK. And here, instead of dark green, let's make this much darker. So how about put this arrow a little bit down more? Yeah, like this. OK. And add and click on it and OK. Let's see how it goes now. Oh, yeah. You see? It's much better. So uh, I have my green candles here. So which means each one of this huge like red candle that you can see, this is the move the, on the hourly. So H1 chart. Okay. So all from here to this distance, it was we can know that on the hourly chart, it was a bearish candle. Okay. The same thing here. This, although it had a huge uh, move here, bullish, but then by the end, it went all the way down. So this is also a bearish candle. And this previous two, for the previous two hours here, they were both like bullish, so green candles, okay? And I think that's all for today, guys. This was a very uh, long lesson. I, I think, I hope you guys really enjoyed the lesson today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me uh, on the comment section below and uh, have a great weekend. Goodbye.